I have uh, some bad news, unfortunate news for one of my clients, uh, my customers, the seller. Uh, we're closing on his deal next Friday. It just happened to be that over the weekend, her husband passed away. She's an emotional, in a, in a, emotional state of mind right now, and she doesn't want to close next Friday. She needs. She's going through these funeral arrangements, going through the family coming down, and I, and I totally get where she's coming from a human standpoint, right? But legally, what happens? I mean, do, does she have the right to just say, okay, I don't want to sell. Maybe I'll sell next year. Unfortunately, no. The Florida contract does not address this issue. And basically what it means is she signed an agreement that she's going to sell it. It doesn't say if one of them dies that they can cancel it. And effectively she's bound. The only thing that the title company is going to need, they'll need one of the original death certificates. Okay. And according to Florida law, once the husband passed away, I'm assuming that they held title as husband and wife. Yes. Once the husband passed away, title immediately vested in the wife. She signed the contract. She's got to go ahead and close. What's the story with the buyers? Can they give her a little bit of time at least? Well, I was just about to tell you that because I want to be a couple steps ahead of their questions. They're actually moving from out of state. They already have a truck. They're already... You know, they made their arrangements for next Wednesday to start driving down here from out of state. And I, I mean, I want to tell them sooner than later. Like, you know, I kind of gave them an eye. I let them know that there's a seller's husband passed away and we may need another one or two weeks. I haven't heard back from them yet to maybe have an extension on the closing. Okay. Well, just so you know, the buyers can just say, hey, look, we signed a contract. Wow. You have to close with us on this day because that's what it says. It says time is of the essence. Sure. And you have to be out on that day. Now, hopefully, they will have a little bit of heart, recognize that, hey, you know, th this is something unusual that happened. Right. Nobody asked for this. And, and recognize that she's going to need a little bit of time to make the funeral arrangements, to get that done before she can leave. Right. On the other hand, of course, she, I'm sure, has started packing, at least I hope. They've well, hired I did. Uh, Peter, I, I went to go, you know, give, uh, show my condolences to her and the family, and she is completely packed and just living out of boxes right now, which in a way is a good thing. It's just you know, moving out of the house to her new, uh, new place, right? Well, hopefully then she'll recognize she's going to have to get this done. She's got a place to go. Okay. It, it's not fun, but it's not the worst thing in the world. They can always do a post-closing possession agreement so that she can stay in for an extra one or two weeks so that if she needs it to, to sure. finish up what she's got to do. And that's the best I can give you, I'm afraid. All right. Thank you, Peter. Just a really uh, quick recap. Just provide you with the death certificate as soon as I get it. That would be it. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much, Peter. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Give my right. condolences too, please. Thank Take you. Care. Appreciate that. Take care. Bye. Bye.